Hello, everybody. This is Bobby McFadden. Hey, folks. Jay here. And this is RLA Advisors. We've got a cool question today, and uh, it really sparked a lot of discussion between the two of us. And the question came to us from a man. Why do women always assume that men are trying to have sex with them? Because we are. Because we are. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for today. Okay. No. okay. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> no. All right. Here's what happens. Uh, we, we immediately get into a discussion because this was a pretty lengthy email. Yeah. This guy had set off on, on helping this woman, and she just got upset and said, I'm not going to have sex with you. But it, the, the, all those assumptions are horrible, horrible, horrible. Mm -hmm. And we, we cover this in a lot of our books. Um, men are certain ways because we are certain ways. And just because we walk up and talk to a woman doesn't mean that we want anything more than to talk to the woman. We might. We might, but we want to start but, a relationship. But there's a start to it, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not like... It's not like you're going to go from conversation to sex immediately. You don't go from hello to unzip. Right, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, hey, how are you doing? You want to get married? Nobody should be afraid of a conversation. And that's what I got here. Yeah, totally. This guy was worried that if he walked up to... He had had an, he had had a, an experience where by talking to a woman and just lending her some help, Mm -hmm. She says, hey, look, great, thanks for the help, but I'm not having sex with you. And his concern was it had nothing to do with the, one thing didn't have to do with the other. And then he transposed that, if I understood his letter correctly, onto all women. Mm -hmm. I can't have a conversation with women now because they think I want to go to bed with them. Yeah. I don't, that's not – I don't even know where to begin. Well, there, well, here's the thing, and we've had this And before. you didn't want to cover the context, and I jumped when, into it anyways. When, when, well, here's the thing. I mean, this, this is the bottom line is when, when we get emails from people – um, a lot of times they're not fully complete. They're, they're sporadic thoughts, right? Mm -hmm. A series of events. And maybe there are events that um, transpired that we didn't get to see. You know, and maybe it's their the guy. Emotion. You're getting their sheer emotion there, too. Right, right. And maybe the guy walked up to a girl, patted her on the, on the, on the behind, um, glanced against her boobie, and then started talking to her. You know, I, dry humped her. There, there could have yeah. been a series of events that occurred that had that happen a certain way, but we don't know. Right? No, all we got was just that. Why do women assume that so, they want to have sex with so them? So a lot of times, I, I wish, um, you know, I wish YouTube was kind of like two-way so that we could have visitors, um, you know, call in during certain times. But the bottom line is, is you know, it, it, well, to, to what Bobby said, I mean, you're just having a conversation. Now, a dude might be thinking, I'd really like to have sex with her. I mean, that's a possibility. Sure. But, I mean, it doesn't go from conversation to sex like that. So, you know, there's something else going on there. Well, the funny part, when I first read it, I, I thought, well, why would she behave that way? And then as soon as I got that out of my head, I was thinking, no, it ain't her. It's him. He's the one that's painting with the broad brush. Get over it. You know, I don't know. I, uh, this is a tough one. I, I, I'm having a hard time because... From a context standpoint, we have very little to go on, and I would say that if 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 that's the thought, like you know, women have this thought of you know, why does he always want to have sex? Yeah, if he's just looking at her boobs while he's talking to her, that could be you know something. You know, it's a different it's a different story too. If like you know, the woman's in a thong and a uh, you know a, a see through top. You know, where are you? Like, what what's the context of the the place that you're in? True. It, it, yeah, the, uh, let's go down that road. Just Are you a in Amsterdam bit. in the red light district? Well, let's just say you're in a bar, and you walk up to talk to a woman, it, it, and it's random, it's casual. You're in a bar for a reason, and it's not always to drink. It's a social setting. That's what the bar is for. Sure. No one should be offended if a polite, casual conversation takes place. Now, again, like I said, if the guy walks up and then he's staring right at the woman's boobs, doesn't even know she has eyes, I could see where a woman would take offense. But we didn't know that. We don't see well, well, that. Well, even that, I mean, I've got to imagine most women wouldn't even jump to the conclusion to, I'm not having sex with you. Right, right. It's, dude, my eyes are up here. Yeah. You know? Where? Oh. Well. Never mind. My man boobs, I know they're big. But it is interesting, though, that we all take, we get these one-dimensional questions and I know I did it. We did it in a video just recently uh, where we both jumped to a conclusion about one thing or another. So I would just say give up the conclusion. If you're a guy, she, you don't know what she's thinking. If you're a girl, you don't know what he's thinking. And that therein lies the purpose for the conversation. Uh, you know, to go just to say it in a different way, it's saying the same thing but in a different way. Treat every conversation like it's new when you go up to a, a woman to, to have a conversation. Just treat it like it's new. Yep. I mean, of course, if you know, it'd be that'd be if you know the person, that'd be a little strange. But if you're going to, to get a conversation, don't have preconceived notions. Just go in fresh, blank blank slate, 
Like it's a new it's a new event, which it is. So just because the last woman slapped you doesn't mean this one's this could be a yes. You never know. You never know. You know, like a brand new experience. Yeah, you remember that time you did tune in Tokyo on that girl and she slapped you? No, <laughs> I don't <laughs> recall that at all. And uh, I no, hope I'm just uh, teasing. yeah, well, we don't need that. That was a joke. Yeah, that, that was didn't a joke. Really you, it was London. I was trying to tune. It had nothing to do with Tokyo. <laughs> Good God. Well, that's all I got. Yeah, me too. I'll, we'll talk to you I'm later. I'm Bobby McFadden. And I'm Jay Simpson. RLA Advisor. See you see next you. time.